Hi, this is Johan Falk in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm gonna give you a few screencasts with an overview of something I call Skill Compass. It's a set of modules I've been working on the last few months or so uh, that you can use to create a site for learning a subject. Uh, as you might have heard, I'm gonna be a math and physics teacher, uh, a kick-ass math and physics teacher, and I'm gonna use Drupal uh, to help uh, teaching and learning math and physics. Uh, I've set up an example site using these uh, modules, Skill Compass modules, uh, at skillcompass.org. And on this site, you can learn Drupal, which is kind of useful if you're using Drupal. And I'm going to show you how this works in, in a few screencasts. And then later on, I'm going to record screencasts to explain how the modules work behind, uh, behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, this is uh, skillcompass.org. Uh, on the front page, uh, you find something that looks like, I don't know, a squid or something. And you can click on this. This is some kind of tree. Uh, and you can see these are topics. Well, I call them topics that you can learn within Drupal. We have the Drupal main topic here and then subtopics to that. And you can drill down into something. Uh, so you can find the topic you want to learn within Drupal. And let's see, uh, I'm gonna find here something about views. Use, oh, I'm going to go into advanced views configuration here some, somewhere, the contextual filters. And click on this one, so I go to the topic itself here. And on this page you get a short description of the topic. You get a list of learning resources uh, attached to this topic that belongs to this topic one way or another. Uh, a bit further down you can see relations from this topic to other topics. I'm going to work on this page a bit because it's a kind of confusing, but it still works. And these learning resources you can click on, and then you uh, get some kind of description of this learning resource, which is hosted on another page, and you have a link here somewhere, so you can go, go view that resource. Uh, and you also have down here some kind of preview in an iframe, so you can see what, um, well, see this resource without leaving the site if you want to. A bit further down on the page as well, you have uh, other uh, resources on this same topic. Um, you can also see here we have some votes uh, saying how, how good or bad this resource is, so you can easier find good stuff. Um, and that's uh, like the basics of this site. You or um, uh, It's used to organize learning resources into topics, well, uh, organize a, a subject into topics and then have learning resources on each topic. And you can also see here, there's another tab called advancement that don't sort topics according to subtopics, but uh, rather by requirements, saying that if you learn content management, then you can learn these skills. If you learn basic site building, you can go on and learn the, these. Uh, which is kind of useful, I think. Uh, there's a search tab here as well. It works kind of as you would expect. Similar, you have this learning resources tab where you can search for learning resources without going through the whole uh, list and tree of, of the topics. Um, yeah, you're free to... Well, as you can see, and we might have seen here, you cannot post comments on the site uh, unless you log in. Uh, uh, you need to verify your uh, your email when creating an account, but that's basically it. And I'm going to show you a bit of how it works when you log in, and then I'm going to cut this um, video and create a new one to show you some more advanced stuff. Hold on. I'm going to log in here with a guy called White, and I'm going to show you why he's white or she is white. Uh, right, so this is a blank account. You don't have very much... Uh, uh, you can do with it, but you have some extra stuff here. You can, well, down here you can post comments. I'm not going to post a comment right now, but I am going to mark this resource as completed. Way to go, it says. Um, and if I have a look at my account here, I have got one point for completing one, uh, one learning resource. Going to this tab here called Level Up, you can see a description of things you can do to get points and what you get when you reach certain uh, point levels. Like here, white belt you have when you uh, get a new account. And then you can post comments and you can mark learning resources as completed. And you get one point for each of these. 
when you reach 10 points you get yellow belt and that makes uh, means that you can rate learning resources use these five star things and you can also mark topics as mastered and you get points for this as well i'm going to show you just very quickly how it works let's go to the learning resources and it so turns out this white person is a very quick learner so he or she is learning a lot of resources going through them at a really high speed how many have i completed now like seven eight nine ten or something let's see my account i still have one here okay that's probably that's probably a, um, a, a cash flushing bug because I know I have more um, uh, more points than that. So that that'll be a bug to report. This is in beta stage, as you might note. Um, okay, let's see here. If I go to the topics, contextual filters here, say, I should now have. Yep, I now have the yellow belt, and I can mark topics as mastered. I can. Mark this uh, topics, topic as learned, and if I go to an individual uh, learning resource, I can also now rate these learning resources. Um, and so it costs you, you can collect point and, uh, points and do more stuff. And I added this, um, these uh, point levels and, and like gates uh, for three reasons. One is that uh, you shouldn't have to worry about all the complex stuff on the site when you get a new account. You only want the basic stuff then. Uh, I want to encourage people to, to do stuff on the site. And uh, thirdly, I don't want people to like go in and uh, uh, destroy stuff. If you spend some time on the site, I trust you. If you just create an account, uh, then I wouldn't like you to be able to, say, edit all the topics on the site. That might be bad. Um, yeah. And um, that's kind of it. The basic stuff, uh, find, find a topic, uh, find learning resources within that topic and go learn them. That, that's the basic idea of Skill Compass. And, and this tree here should help you uh, find the topics you're interested in. I'll show you in the next screencast uh, how you can change these topics and, and do funny things with them. But we'll see that then. See you.